Okay, a bunch of people have been asking me uh, about an update on this sucker. Um, here we are, uh, May 19th, in the middle of swapping out this uh, automatic tool changer. So far, I've noticed that this thing uh, sounds completely different. Uh, let me show you. I only have one tool in it right now. I've got to go remove the rest of those prior to doing anything major. But uh, if I go to the tray load position, I don't know what that clunk is at the at the very end, but so far it sounds way better. I'm gonna make sure it's uh blowing some oil onto this guy. I haven't checked that yet. Um, just now going through the setup, uh, uh, the adjustments and all that, I'm hoping it works, but I'm not confident yet. I don't know if I'll uh, ever trust this machine again, honestly. Uh, I may uh, get 50,000 tool changes down the road. I, I might end up... Uh, might end up trusting it finally, but you can see the uh, ATC tray light is now on. I was having a problem with that earlier. Found out uh, it was something pretty, pretty basic. Um, it's also having some weird, uh, some weird Z-axis issue earlier. Uh, the machine did do a uh, firmware update. I guess it was just for the the uh, the tray. Not a big deal. Um, it seems to be lining up pretty good. It's no longer making that huge rubbing sound. And more importantly, it's not jittering. Um, so we'll go ahead and retract the tray. Uh, I'll ref it. And you can hear how smooth that is. Sorry about the air compressor noise. But yeah, never did this before. Uh, the machine has always been extremely noisy. And we'll tell when I load, the, load it back up with tools to see if the uh, alignment is off or what's going on there. Uh, let me grab a... In transit, the new ATC ended up getting a big old bang right there. So I had to pull the metal cover off the side. I'm swapping it out. Uh, not sure how it happened, but it actually crinkled the metal. Um, I don't think that's probably Tormach's fault, but the box was uh, pretty trashed when it showed up. But uh, other than that, um, you know, I noticed, uh, and I actually put this in a video uh, yesterday or day before. Um, anybody installing one of these, uh, brand new, uh, you better know that this uh, this rubber seal that they supply, the paint on it, well, sorry, the, uh, the coating on it sticks to your paint. So it actually removed the paint on my door. Uh, there may be a warning somewhere that I didn't catch. There's some more shipping damage. I did have quite a bit of shipping damage on this machine, but... Uh, it's the back side of the machine. I'll probably just put a sticker over it. Who knows? So uh, all the guts are exposed until I uh, Until I put the new cover back on here, but I'm really not worried about That um, even if it was still dented, I'm not too worried about it, but my original one wasn't so uh, I'm just gonna make sure uh, Okay uh, one thing to note, this little sensor right here, if you ever have an ATC uh, tray in issue or you run out of adjustment on your air ram here, uh, there is a, a magnetic sensor behind this guy that has to line up with this. So uh, I would suggest if you're installing a new tool changer to make sure you adjust this uh, first. Make sure that this adjustment is on, uh, that your ATC in light is registered properly uh, or else you have to go mess with these guys you have to go play the the nuts game uh, or you have to pull the center stud out um, underneath of this there's a, uh, a center oh, I thought I thought I saw something I can't really see up in here that well 
uh, there's a, uh, a centering post up underneath the, the machine right here. You could pull this guy out. You can get a little bit more play one way or another, but um, yeah, you don't really need this centering stud, uh, I suppose. So other than that, I'm like two and a half, three months into uh, into this game and uh, hoping that this is going to wrap it up. I need to redo, uh, get rid of my all my tubing here. Uh, probably need to fill this guy back up uh, since I've done 500,000 tool changes on the old machine. I uh, just don't know if I'll ever trust it. Um, I'm really starting to wonder if I if I made a big mistake or hopefully I'll get this wrapped up. Uh, everything else from here on out will be uh, will be peachy and uh, we won't have any issues. Um, next thing's gonna be uh, I've got to replace this seal in there before I start running coolant because I never did put that seal in and I guess it's needed. I don't know where it goes. I'll have to look. Uh, but the new tool changer, um, night and day different from the old one. And I don't know if it was just, uh, maybe I got a, maybe I got a, uh, a late Friday machine or a early Monday machine. Um, but uh, I've had nothing but problems with this. Hoping to wrap it up. I gotta put the rest of this together. I swear I'm so many hours of labor on this. Uh, if I was charging Tormach my regular shop labor rate, I would probably be retired or have another one of those. So, uh, other than that, just uh, rerouting and running all the wires uh, and cables and airlines and all that good stuff. I hear it air leak though, and I don't know where it's coming from which is not what I wanted to deal with. So I'll have to go find out where that air leak's coming from. Uh, the old machine had no air leaks whatsoever. I'm just hoping it's uh, not somewhere deeply buried inside of here. Uh, it's irritating having this thing apart and together and uh, nope, I can't find it. I'll have to do the, uh, the old soap and water trick. No, nah, I don't want to do that but I'll have to definitely find where this leak is coming from. I can hear it. It sounds like it's coming from the ram, which uh, I hope not. That would not be good. Um, it's worse than I thought. You hear that? I don't know. Um, I had no air leaks before. Uh, air compressor would stay on 24 seven. Never had a leak. So here's, uh, here's the cabinet. Um, the lights look like they're blinking about like they were yesterday. Fans running, uh, everything's nice and cool in here. Um, I wish this door was a little bit bigger so I could put my whole manual in there, but uh, other than that, we'll, uh, we'll wrap this up. Uh, just wanted to give everybody an update because I have had quite a few uh, people asking um, in my messages about it. I don't know where that leak's coming from. That's bugging the hell out of me. I'll have to find out where it's at. Maybe I go to the... Uh... I don't know where it's at, but it's annoying. Hope it's not coming out of this ram somewhere. I don't know. Um, maybe it's coming from here. Let's see here. I never had any leaks on this machine at all, so. Oh well, that's gonna be up to me. I don't know if uh, something was supposed to go over this airline, um, like a cap or something. Uh, it doesn't look right. That. I'll have to go look on the old uh, ATC and see if something went over that because uh, that doesn't look right at all. But other than that, there's my uh, little update. We'll uh, keep everybody posted as a go. One thing I noticed that doesn't look right is the gap in between here is now shrunk down. I, it's not even related to anything. Maybe the call it's open. It is. That's all it is. Retract it. And if you hit the uh, the open, 
that's the new rounded nut that Tormach uh, sent me out. Uh, I don't know if that gap is too big or too small, but uh, it's working. I'm not going to worry about it. So uh, that's my update. Um, I only have a little bit of time to work on this thing uh, on and off during the day. Uh, uh, barely during the day. Uh, and then primarily I can't work on it until late at night. But this right here, uh, this, this gouge in the table will affect the permanent resale value of this machine, having that gouge and this gouge. So I'll have to deal with Tormach on that. Um, this is not a replaceable part, at least not easily, easily replaceable. Uh, but I planned on before running substantial parts through this machine, uh, getting a full uh, protector of some sort put on this, uh, maybe one of those nice little Saunders uh, uh, plates. But now I've got a nice big gouge in the middle of the table, um, right where you look. I mean, you couldn't get more dead smack center. Uh, when that half inch end mill fell out of this thing, um, this ram right here, the edge of it, ran into uh, the BT30. You can check my previous videos, but tool changer was stuck right between position 1 and position 12 and when it knocked the side of it the z-axis didn't come down uh, if it had come down farther it would have been fine but instead it hit dead smack center of the tool and knocked the thing out and it landed right in the middle of the table bounced down there smacked uh, uh, still finding pieces of carbide uh, I wish it was gold. I would exchange all the carbide I've broken uh, and just buy myself a new CNC if it was gold. So that's that. Um, I'll keep sure and uh, update uh, as we go. Right now I've got to go track down a uh, very, very annoying air leak that uh, I don't even know where it's coming from. Hopefully it's not a Hopefully it's not a hole or a leaking air ram would be a, a complete and utter nightmare to me. But I just can't, can't locate it. Don't know where it's at. Um, it's not around any of those connectors. I hate tracking down leaks and my old machine had not a, not a single one. So a little, uh, little concern I do feel some air blowing some oh there we go there we go uh, let me take care of this guy if I can uh, if I can't you're gonna hear a whole bunch more cussing and oh wait a second it's down here oh I don't know what that is uh, it may be part of the uh, damage in transit because it did hit right here on that cover so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's not related, but it looks like this connector took a pretty big hit. Uh, so annoying. Um, I think I'm gonna replace the hose first because uh, actually I take that back. This whole thing appears to be broken. Um, backside, yep. So, uh, unsure if it was shipped that way. Uh, try to clear it up really quick. Uh, I'll update the video.